Okay, this is the latest work on the lunar clock. And you can see here what we have is an Arduino Mega, a Transmogra Shield, and a SparkFun CC3000 uh, CC Wi-Fi Shield. Some transistors to interface to a stepper motor that's underneath this disk. And then we also have some wires going to the opto interrupter that I just installed. I added some hardware there to install it. And then the image of the moon that's going to be the right image. Let me mess around here a bit. Uh, the image of the moon that's going to be the right one is going to show up right up here. So let's uh, reset this circuit. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Okay. Now the first thing the circuit's going to do, the first thing the sketch is going to do is find where the disk is. So that's what that slot you can see in the disk is for, is the disk turns until uh, the slot comes around to the opto interrupter, and then it stops at the next lunar image after that. Then the next thing that happens is the uh, sketch queries the website that's going to tell it the phase of the moon. And you can see here the site responds really quickly with the headers that say what the current date and time is, but it takes it a while to respond with the uh, data for the phase of the moon. I'm not quite sure why that happens, but uh, it takes it uh, a good 15-20 seconds sometimes to come through with the, there it goes, uh, the phase. And now we can go over here and the disk is rotating to bring the right image up to the top of the disk here. And there it is. The, uh, the moon is a uh, gibbous waning moon uh, and uh, uh, rounded off uh, to uh, a one-eighth image why it's uh, a half moon. So there it is, the latest uh, lunar clockwork.